Good afternoon, I am Ifani Elumexam. This is a news update. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has revealed that some key political actors and stakeholders in the country were not comfortable with the Electoral Act 2022 and would prefer return to the old Act. The Commission also warned that the proclivity of hate speech and fake news by the political elites and political parties could constitute a direct threat to the conduct of peaceful elections in Nigeria. The INEC National Commission and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee Festus Okoye said this to an interface with the media and civil society organizations on identifying and mitigating flashpoints of electoral misinformation and disinformation, organized by the International Press Center IPC in Abuja. Tend, often tend to exacerbate the artificial divisions within the complex socio-cultural, ethnic, political and religious environment in Nigeria. The proclivity for hate speech and fake news by the political elite and political parties constitutes a direct threat to the conduct of peaceful election in Nigeria. In the run-up to the 2023 general election, inciting the population through hate speech and purveyance must be condemned by all and sundry. The political elite must be made to play the game according to the rules and avoid intemperate speeches and statements that are... A senior fellow, Center for Democracy and Development, Professor Chibrin Ibrahim, enjoined journalists not to allow fake news merchants to take over election narratives but to remain professional in the discharge of their constitutional role to the society. There's a danger I will take over the show of Festus. So let me just conclude <laughs> with one point as we move into discussing what this new world has in store for our country as the elections come. We should always remember the very high capacity that exists in this country for manipulation. In this country today, so whatever you hear, go and verify.